Glasgow Women's Library. We're the, so far, the only accredited um, <laughs> women's museum in the UK dedicated to women's lives, histories and achievements. So the Women's Museum, we're looking forward to you joining us there. So we have a wide range of subject items in our collections and we use our uh, museum, archive and library collections to basically start a conversation to tell the stories of women throughout history. Um, we have a set of panko cars, we have various drawings, etc. Um, and we want to tell the stories of some of our fabulous Scottish suffragettes. So we generally don't tell the story of Emily Pankhurst. Uh, one of my favourite uh, Scottish suffragettes is Jessie Stephen, one of the, um, the few working class suffragettes that we know anything about. Glasgow Lass, uh, originally. Um, we have done lots of things before about women's suffrage. This was a project from a couple of years ago, which was called the March of Women, which was a participatory public art project in partnership with the Royal Conservatoire of Scotland. We do a lot of partnership working because we don't have any money. Um, and we worked with over 100 women and we brought to life and updated the suffragette play, A Pageant of Great Women, written by Cicely Hamilton. So uh, groups made sashes, they made banners, um, they made rosettes, they researched women from Scottish history, they wrote lines for them to say, um, and they performed in the play uh, at Glasgow Women's Library. And uh, women recited the lines that they had written. And we then processed through the streets of Bridgeton, which is our home and is one of the most deprived areas of Glasgow, um, and we did uh, a week performance on Glasgow Green. And it's a, a, a great um, example of how texts or archive items are made meaningful at Glasgow Women's Library. Um, they're used, reinterpreted, and they take on a life of their own. So what have we got in our February to May programme? We've got several uh, suffrage themed events. As part of 1480 Now and Artichoke, we have some banner making workshops with an artist, Helen Devane. We have some creative writing workshops using our suffragette postcards in our collection, both suffrage pro and anti. Um, and we have an exhibition which was launched yesterday, Our Red Aunt, about Helen Crawford, also a Glasgow lass, Baker's family from the Gorbals. Um, and the exhibition is with uh, New Zealand-based artist Fiona Jack, who is Helen Crawford's great-great-niece. So she's come up with an exhibition of some, she's made some ceramics for the exhibition, banner for the exhibition. There are also two and a half thousand rocks with the words in the hands of the proletariat engraved on them, which we are asking visitors to the exhibition to take one away. So there better be one uh, left for me when I get back. <laughs> um, she also uh, brought the family recipe for Jack's rolls. So they are now being made in a bakery in the Gorbals, which is um, great, it's brilliant. It's run by uh, refugees and asylum seekers. And also, Helen Crawford's autobiography, which is at the uh, Marx Memorial Library, is going to be published by Glasgow Women's Library, the Marx Memorial Library, and Fiona Jack this year. Uh, we also do things around and about the rest of Scotland, and we have a, a couple of things coming up. And this is why we do what we do. Um, this is one of my literacy learners, Mary Alice, who really struggles with her reading and writing. So we are cataloguing and summarising all of the articles in all of our editions of Just Suffragi. So for this particular one, we talked about trafficking, we talked about how to design an Excel spreadsheet, we talked about voting, we talked about the difference between Hungary and Hungary, um, and uh, how people posed for old photographs, and Mary Alice can now count up to XX in Roman numerals, never having seen them before. Um, and she came in very proudly last week and told me that she had been to Waterstones and she bought two books about suffragettes, despite the fact that she really struggles with her writing. Um, and her reading is, is you know, she really, she really can't read very well on her own, but she can 
definitely read the words of it. <laughs>